Good morning, this is Ben from the world's smallest and messiest lab waiting for my met glass forms to come in and just in disgust this morning puttering around decided to test out an idea I had. This is my rotor I'm going to be using with the met glass course. There's eight uh, N48 one half by one inch magnets all facing out monopole and so just for the heck of it this morning, uh, from what I've seen JLN do and Aussie do, I decided to put my old, underneath that thing is a, a little over five Henry coil and a tiny little reed relay with a diode across it. I have a one ohm shunt uh, resistor in the negative. Uh, that I can measure current across and I'm running a, uh, about 2.22 volts at the power supply and uh, strange strange now this is only one magnet I mean one coil is just offset setting down on the top there it's hard to show you the offset but most interesting is the waveform this is one coil nothing special running at about yeah, 2.2 volts. The top trace is the voltage across the coil. The bottom trace is the current through the coil. And if I add these two together, you can see the overall what's going on there current and voltage wise. The noise is just due to the high gain required to measure that um, voltage across the uh, I think it's a point one. I got to measure to be sure, but it's. Uh, I'm only showing 50 volts, millivolts per division. I'm on a Timex 10x probe, but uh, strange. Uh, and I have real no explanation why. Well, I have some ideas what's going on, but depending on where you close the contacts and where the magnet is in position to the coil, as it's going away, it looks like the induced CEMF and the voltage in the coils uh, delay going down cancel out and you end up with um, zero effective current uh, uh, CEMF in the coil. Don't know if that's true or not but it uh, it's fun to play with. Uh, just wanted to show you some it's not hard to get a square wave across the coil Gee, uh, I thought I'd have to do a bunch of cancellation and stuff, but with the right coil, the right magnets, even one coil will work. Strange. Anyway, that's my little doodity for this morning. This is K4ZEP in the world's smallest and messiest lab, and we're out of here.